In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove the Chinese, Korean, and Japanese keyboards uh, because some people want to just have a cleaner uh, input. So if you go into input method regularly, you've got uh, default, you've got your gingerbread keyboard if you've installed it, the Android keyboard, and you've got Chinese, Korean, and uh, Japanese. Uh, to do this, you're going to have to root your phone. Um, you can use apps like Titanium Backup to remove certain things. So if you go into Titanium Backup, uh, you'll see that there is a, a Chinese keyboard input and you can hit uninstall to get rid of it. But uh, the Japanese keyboard isn't in here. So this is why I made this uh, little video and this uh, kit to remove the files. So to start off, again, your phone has to be rooted. So super user has to be working. And it works on 2.1, it works on any X10. So just before you start, go to Settings, Applications, Development, and make sure USB debugging is checked. Then plug your phone in and make sure you uh, choose Charge Phone. Do, do not mount the SD card. So, Charge Phone. So when you download the zip file from multi-upload, and unzip it, you're going to get three folders. Uh, if it says that the file has been downloaded or is no longer available, try one of the other sites like Hotfile or RapidShare or one of the other ones. Uh, that's why I use multi-upload, so it's on different, uh, a bunch of different sites. So I've also included rooting tools if you haven't already rooted your phone. There's Super One Click for 2.1 Update 1, um, and there's also Z4 which is only for 2.1. I've also included Titanium Backup, Super User, and BusyBox. So once you've uh, rooted your phone, uh, you'll go into the second folder, which is the uninstall. So open that up. Uh, again, make sure that you've turned off user account control and make sure you're running everything as administrator. So first, open up the open me file, which will have all the different commands you're going to need to run. Next, right click and run the command prompt. So run as administrator, and you're going to get your command prompt. So again, all the warnings, back up your phone, um, you must have update service and PC companion installed, and all the usual stuff. So this one, this removing the keyboard shouldn't affect your phone, so the uh, possibility of an error is really, really low, but always back up and be careful. So the first thing you're going to run is a shell. So copy the command and then right click to paste into the command prompt. And for this next part, it says that your phone needs to be on and ready to accept uh, input because you're going to get a pop-up on your phone when you run the next command. So the next command is SU. So when I type in SU and hit enter on the phone, you're going to get a pop-up. So if you don't get that pop-up, you're going to have to do it again. So make sure the phone is awake. And as you can see, it's just waiting because uh, the command was unsuccessful. So just wait for it to go back to the uh, dollar sign. Permission denied. So type in SU. And when you press when you press enter on your phone on the computer, you're going to get a pop-up and you have to allow this pop-up. Okay? So that means uh, your computer can now uh, access the phone. The dollar sign changes into the pound sign. So the, ne the next command makes the system files read and write so you can edit the system files. And the commands after that are just simply to remove the keyboards. So uh, you can use all of them or any one of them, whatever you want. The first one removes the Chinese keyboard. The second one removes the Japanese keyboard. And the third one removes the Korean keyboard. And that's it. When you're done, hit Control C. Now if you go back on your phone and go into input method, you'll see that the Japanese, Korean, and Chinese keyboard are gone. And that's how you remove those keyboards. If 
by some chance you want to reinstall the keyboards, uh, just go into the third folder. And again, open me and follow the instructions in there.